Kevin Garcia with Fight Hype. Lucas, I mean, just the obvious question. An amazing win for you. How do you feel? I feel good. Uh, I knew uh, it was only a matter of time before I got him. I knew he was going to be super tricky at the beginning, super fast, uh, very, very good boxer, good counterpuncher. But I knew the um, second half of the fight, his head's going to be in the middle, and I'm going to catch him. Yeah, and I did exactly what I thought I was going to do. Can you, talk to, can you talk to us, excuse me, about the knockout and how you saw it, especially, you know, in the fight and then maybe even after looking back at it? Um, yeah, like I said, it's, I expected that. I expected it. I mean, I didn't start off good. My, my legs were like in quicksand. Um, <clears throat> but I, I took this fight on, you know, three and a half weeks notice and I didn't have the best preparation for it. But I knew this was my opportunity. So uh, I took it. No doubt. And look, you know, obviously we heard you in the ring um, right away, right after your victory. It seems like you got a response. Kid Austin's calling for that fight in November. Can you talk to us about your desire uh, in your next fight? Do you want to see Kid Austin? Could it be an H2O rematch? Uh, rematch? Anything's possible at this point. I mean, I'm, I'm open to anything. We'll see what, what happens in the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm open for anything. Yeah, I want Kid Austin on that Mike Tyson, uh, Jake. Jake Paul on your card, sure, let's do it. Anyone else? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, if nobody else is gonna ask. <laughs> yeah, the huge win, the huge knockout, come on. For sure, for sure. I mean, not boxing related, but I got another question for you if everybody else is gonna be quiet. You're Canadian, man. How do you feel about Drake Kendrick? What's your opinion on that? <laughs> To be honest, I don't pay attention to any of okay. that. <laughs> All good. All I don't good. even know what the, what's going on. I know that they're, they're, they're uh, tripping each other and making these diss songs, but I don't pay attention to that. What does it mean for you to get a win like that in front of a crowd like that, to have that kind of moment? Um, I mean, this, this kind of shows what I'm about. Um, I knew I was going to get a nice knockout. And uh, it, it came at the perfect timing. I took some shots early on, but like I said, I knew that it was gonna come and it was just a matter of time. What did it mean, like this whole week, we saw it at the weigh-in, we saw it at um, the open workout. You had fans the entire week just going crazy. They were kind of chanting your name louder than H2O at every event. How did that feel for you? That felt amazing. Uh, I got the support behind me. I got Canada behind me. And uh, I hope I made a lot more fans Tonight. You got Jake Paul behind you? Yeah. Jake Paul was chanting my name with my with my people. It was hilarious. <laughs> I don't think he knew what he was doing, but it was, it was so funny. Absolutely. Absolutely. Who, who's going to top that? Nothing's going to get close to that. I have to agree. <laughs> Sign him. Sign him. Sign him. I'm a free agent promotionally, and uh, yeah, my next fight, I want something big. So we're, we're open to any uh, any opportunities that come our way. That's a great way to lobby for it. Lucas, <laughs> uh, Carlo, the face of boxing news. Is there any promoter in particular that you're interested in working with? I mean, like I said, I, I, I'm open to anything. Uh, MVP did an amazing job this week. They took very good care of us. I mean, uh, if, if they're interested in doing something, we're, uh, we're open to, uh, to options for sure.